connect to our machine now. So let us install docker the same machine for git jenkins and all you can uh, start docker install docker using m install Okay, so let's start Docker. Right, Docker is started and running. You can check the status, status, Docker. Right, you can see Docker is running. Perfect, now you can run any Docker commands here. Okay, let's start with the first basic Docker command, Docker images. What is this Docker images? It will list all the Docker images present on this Docker host. Here you will come across another term, Docker host. What is a Docker host? This is important. This is a, a very important to understand this term. What is a Docker host? <clears throat> See, Docker host is nothing but a VM or a physical server or an EC2 instance, I mean instance on any cloud where docker is running means let's say a machine with docker installed with docker running is called a docker host or else a machine where docker containers are running is called a docker host means this a docker host is nothing but a machine where docker is installed docker is running docker engine docker daemon is running right so that's a docker images that will list the see it was listing, but there were no images available because we just started. Right? So it will list all the images present. But because we don't have any image, right? You don't have any image here. So it was showing like a blank uh, thing. Now let's suppose we want to run out. Uh, container let's say I just want to run an image but I don't have any images okay I'll try to run an image docker run uh, let's say some image called hello world this is how you run an image hello world is an image name okay this is how you run an image with docker run hello world so yeah when we run this what happens now what do you think will happen now What happens now? Do we have hello world container? I mean, do you have hello world image? We'll run the image, right? But do we have a hello world image? What happens if I try to run the image which is not present on the Docker host? I'm at an error out saying image not found. Uh, see, yeah, whenever it doesn't find the image, let's see what it does. Okay, let's run this and see. See, it could not find this image, hello world. So what it is saying, it was pulling the image from the library, hello world. When it first, it searches the image locally. If it doesn't find the image, it will pull from the library. Means it will pull from Docker Hub, I told you, right? Docker Hub is a registry, it's a public registry. And you have the images available. It is stuck up. Okay. 
right see it has pulled the image hello world means this is what it does it will first search locally if it is not there it will pull from the hub okay after pulling from the hub, run means it will run the image whenever you run the image what happens container should be created okay how to see the container docker ps minus a ps means docker process show minus a for all it will show all the containers yes container is created from this image every container is an entity it will have some alpha numeric id and the status exited exited means stop created and stop that's all and also read this message carefully it tells you hello from docker this message shows that your installation appears to work correctly to generate this message docker took the following steps actually what happens is hello world image is pulled it created a container but hello world is a sample image it was developed in such a way that whenever container is run you it will display this message a welcome message because it's a sample image it will display this welcome message that's how the container is made okay let me rerun once again what happens if i rerun the same image yes you can run any number of times but this time if you see it's not saying it's not available locally because already it's available locally it need not download from docker hub but container should be created another container yes do you see that like i told you you from the same image you can run any number of times and create any number of containers right so for every container alpha numeric id is assigned like a unique id and because we cannot remember memorize this alpha numeric id docker daemon will assign a random name to each container like king kind spence suspicious owner some random names will be assigned by docker daemon understood what happens when you do docker run container will be created and it will be stopped immediately but this container is made in such a way that it will display the welcome message and hence the message is displayed. Tell me, please. Uh, Ma'am, why are there uh, two containers because for Hello World? Twice. I run the same image twice. First one created with this run. Second time created with this. But second time it doesn't pull from how it could find locally. But for the first time, because it could not find locally, it has pulled from now. I can run any number of times, but always container is assigning a random name. But I want to put my own name to container. Is it possible? Yes, possible. Let's say C1 is my container name. Again, it has exit create the container, display the message. When you see the list third container do you see c1 instead of docker daemon assigning a random name you can assign your own name to your container if you wish i just covered only one command run command is that much clear for all of you is a run command clear these are the commands check this from 179 go through them and let me know if any command is not clear i'm giving you a minute please go through them and let me know Ma'am, that uh, run hyphen name C1 hello world is same as run hello world, right? Or because we have two, three hello worlds. And this is, assign, it will create a new container with this name. If you don't use name flag, it will create a container and docker daemon will assign a name to it. 
with this i'm assigning name to my own container okay thank you if you don't use name flag docker daemon will assign a random name like kind uh, specimen and so on if you want your own name name flag if you run this three times three containers are created docker ps how many images do you have only one but i'm running the same image again and again three times so three containers okay so these are the basic that's the first basic thing 